I can't tell which side is which. Now that I've unrolled it, I'm really screwed. Hey everybody, Lexinda Swirl here. New day, new Tumblr project. I just got some new, brand new to the site and to me, Artistic Painting Studio foils in the mail. And I wanted to show you, let's just go through this collection because they're gorgeous. This is gonna be a little tricky, so I have a piece of black here that we can we can use to make seeing these a little easier because some of them are very delicate the design i mean look at that They're, it's holographic with roses and and whatever flowers with flowers <laughs> i will put the names of these on the screen because off the top of my head i have no clue scales holographic scales or like a mermaid cup. And then we have, this one really caught my eye. Silver roses, but then with a holographic shard pattern over the top. And then we have this, look at this. Man, I feel like the 60s or even the 90s are calling me here. And this version of a leopard print with holographics in it, the holographic diagonals, I guess, in the background or over the top, I suppose. And it's sort of leopard, but there's fur involved as well. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of weird. Give me some ideas if you can think of a way to use this. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not a big leopard print fan, so I just don't automatically think of things to do with leopard print stuff. And then this one, which looks more like scales again, but I think reptilian sort of scales. If I were coordinated enough, I would cut off a strip of each of these, this one and these up here, the, the small flowers the mermaid scales and the, the big flowers to put on a single tumbler just so we could compare, <laughs> but I'm not. I am not that clever or that coordinated. Yeah, okay, we're gonna go with this one. When I came in here just a few minutes ago to start this video, I was gonna go with the small roses and the shards. I was gonna go with this one. Maybe that'll be the next one, maybe, maybe? Tell me which of these you wanna see. It's very unusual that both sides look exactly the same. Very unusual. So, let's see what happens here. Okay, this is the side that needs to go on the cup because this is the side that gave up its foil to my tape. We have a 20 ounce skinny straight. I think this is midnight blue. It's Rust-Oleum's darkest blue spray paint. And I painted on a layer of Artsyville Embellishments foil adhesive. So it's been sitting for about an hour, just getting ready for this project. And now I'm going to cut this down. This doesn't have any sticky on it. That's why I'm using this to find out how much I need to cut. And this will definitely go all the way around. Okay, so give myself some extra to do the bottom with. Whoops, I didn't mean to cut the black paper. Oh well. <laughs> oh well. There we go. Put this aside for some other project. So far, no major wrinkly issues. That's always a that's always a win for me. <laughs> Cut this off. We can use it to fill in places later if we need to. Now the fun really begins. Oh, let's press this down too. Now the workout for my arms part. This is just your basic kitchen scrub brush. I got it for I don't know 87 cents at Walmart in the kitchen cleaning section. Nice stiff bristle brush. And the reason for doing this is to just try to convince every single solitary fleck of the foil itself, which is on the other side of this, to stick to the adhesive on the tumbler and release from this backing. I don't know how the release factor is on this particular foil, so we'll be finding out firsthand in just a moment. Okay, let's see where we are here. Looking pretty good. Let's start from the bottom. Well, nope. that didn't release. Wow released fine up here until about halfway down. Come on now, behave. Oh, Krabby Patties. Wow. So 
This released perfectly and now it's ripping and sticking to the backing paper. It's not releasing at all. What the heck, man? I don't understand. I truly, truly don't understand. Some of these foils are just way more cooperative than others. Wow. All right, well, we'll have better luck on the other side. Dang. Other side's working well. I don't know why there's such a difference, but the other side's working pretty well. Okay, okay. Oh my goodness. I don't know. Don't stick, don't stick, don't stick. Okay, all right, okay. Jeez Louise, that was this is hard on my nerves. I don't know about you guys, but this is hard. <laughs> it's such a question mark every time I do this. I never know. Now it's going to come off. Now it's going to release. All right, well, I'll take it. I'll take it just fine. <laughs> All right, well, let's admire the the cup itself because this in the end worked out really really well it took me a bit to get there but I, I like it I know this seam looks kind of raggedy in fact you can really only see the seam here straight line and then it gets all sort of jagged but I'm not going to complain about that it still looks beautiful so yeah that was a huge success considering it started out a little iffy if you learned anything from this if you can get one side to release, even if the other isn't, go with what releases and see if you can work your way all the way around that way. Like you just saw me do. That is stunning. Look at that. That's beautiful. I'm going to put some uh, resin on this and <laughs> we may be done. I'll mix up about 20 milliliters of Speedy Peedy and I will absolutely mix into it some 504, which it's got a little bit of holographic to it, but I think it will mostly just add sparkle over the amazing... Amazing. <laughs> wow. Over the amazing looking design we have on here. Sit back and enjoy the show. Mm -hmm. 